Okay, so let me come on down here. Here we go. Here's the question. The fox population in a certain region has an annual growth rate of 8% per year. So that means every year the fox population goes up by 8% per year. It is estimated that the population in the year 2000 was 29,000, at least is the number I have, 29,000 foxes in this certain region. And its annual growth rate is 8% per year. So uh, yeah, wildlife management people um, will use these kind of equations. They don't have to derive them, you know, and they probably have computer applications that help them. But nevertheless, the people in the know basically use exponential growth when dealing with mo um, animal populations. So it says find a function that models the population T years after 2000, T equals zero for 2000. Your answer is, and then down here, some kind of prediction. So how do we do this? Well, if you go to the notes, here it is. This is from the exam. three notes, and I'm going over the topic, exponential growth and decay. And what, is, what does it actually say there? If a function grows or decays by the same, let me get my schoolie there, by the same percentage, if a function grows or decays by the same percentage each period of time, this is called exponential growth or decay. And the function is f of x equals one plus r all to the t power, where p equals the amount at the start and r equals the decimal version of the rate of growth, positive or decay, negative. So how's this gonna work then? And then here's an example. A car starts at 10,000, goes up 6% per year. It can be 10,000 or go down that times one minus 0.06. So that's how you have an exponential function that goes up or down, grows or shrinks, decays every period of time the same. So let's do that. So it's going to be, um, it's f of x. The amount at the start times one plus R to the T. So that's going to be the amount at the start, 29,000. 29,000 at the start times one plus R to what power plus T. And then what is R? What is the interest rate? Not interest rate. What is the growth rate? Growth rate, 8%. One plus, oh wait, that's our R value. To the T, this is a T up there. T power. There it is, there's the function. See how we put the starting amount right here, 29,000 times one plus the rate of change per year, 8% per year, written as a decimal, to the T power t years after 2000. That's what it's saying right here. P is the amount at the start, one plus r to the t. And r is the decimal version of the rate of growth, positive, or decay, negative. So there we go. And then part b, use the function from part a to estimate the fox population in the year 2008. So use the function to estimate. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to say, okay, the population at any time is, let me back that up, is 29,000, one plus 0.08 to the T. And they're saying um, the year is 2008. Well, T is the years after 2000. So that's T equals eight, isn't it? Because that's eight years after the year 2000. T 
T is how many years after 2000? So grab that eight and pop it in right there but for T. So what do we get? We get the population will be 29,001. I'm just going to make this 1.08 because one, one plus 0.08 is 1.08 to the power of eight. So that is the population in the year 2008. And then so we make that population in the year 2008. So then hit the buttons on your calculator. You're going to have to use the power button here. So it's going to be 29,000 times 1.08 to the power x to the y. You might have an up arrow. Some calculators have an x with a blank. Whatever your power button is, to the eighth equals. So there's the buttons you're going to have to hit. 29,000 times 1.08 to the eighth power. I'm getting, I got an answer of 53,676.9761. Now they say, um, Oh, the answer should be an integer, meaning um, they don't they don't want you to. We're just going to round it off, so it's going to be five thousand six seventy seven. But we're gonna you can't have part of a fox. We're we're talking about the fox population, like how many? I don't know what the plural for fox foxes. How many foxes are there in the region in the year two? If you know if the growth continues just as it has. That's what we're, you know, this is called exponential growth. Whenever, whenever something grows by the same percentage every period of time, that's called exponential growth. And we're saying if the exponential growth, it keeps growing at the same percentage, if it keeps growing at, what was it? 8% um, per year. And um, if it keeps growing at 8% per year, then and then what's it going to be by the year 2008 plug in an eight for t t is years after 2008 so i plug that in hit the buttons on my calculator got 53,677 so the fox population is going to just go crazy huh it's going from 29,000 to over 50,000 from 30 to 50 basically during those eight years and we're rounding it to the nearest integer, like whole number, we don't want any decimal. So the 0.9 rounds that up. And so there we go.